Hi, and welcome to my channel, Home Life with Quinn Five. I'm a homeschooling mom of three, and we're entering our sixth year of homeschooling. Um, this is just gonna be a big picture homeschooling plan for my fourth grader. I don't, I haven't locked in all the details yet, but this is what I will be using, and over time, I will be sharing with you kind of the unit studies that we'll be using, more ref, more resources, and things like that. But right now, this is just big picture a big picture view of what we're doing. So our core will be Oak Meadow, Oak Meadow course, grade four. Um, it comes with a teacher manual, math, and the course book here deals with language arts, science, social studies, art, and music. Just to give you a, just to give you an idea, one, two, three, four, five subjects, and then at the end of every lesson, there is an assessment. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to start off with math. With math, we're going to use math as a supplement for Oak Metal. This is an example of the problems for fourth grade. You know, in regards to my state standards, it does cover everything in my state. However, because we are test takers, I need my daughter to know the different options to solve a problem, the different procedures to solve the same type of problem. So with that, I will be using primary mathematics. She likes the, the pictures, you know, it's not, in a lot of, it's not a lot of questions. Well, it's enough questions to, uh, to make sure that, that you have the concept down solid. However, and what I feel is missing here is m a little bit of more practice more practice questions and she needs like to understand the but yes she can answer the question she could she can do she does a lot of mental math but she needs to be able to write down her write down the answers in written form and she needs to prove her answers in the multiple at least three different ways in our state exams so that is why I'm using primary math so she could get used to the um the layout and the type of questions I'll be asking the state exam. For myself, I will be referencing Engage New York just so <clears throat> for my own education, I'll probably pull out a few questions for her to practice, but this will be her main math curriculum supplementing with Oak Meadow, and I'm gonna be using Oak Meadow more like an assessment, like at the end of the week, maybe answer these questions, that'll be her exam. And maybe use some of the, um, some of the skills to answer these questions and present them in different ways. However, the way she, th that's, that's my plan for her, but I know the way she thinks. She really loves hands-on math. She does a lot of mental math. We just have to practice slowing down and writing out her answers. But just to make math fun for her, we will be incorporating Right Start Math. If you know about Right Start Math, it's, a lot of mental, a lot of gaming, very few problems. They really drill down. It's a mastery program. They, they really drill down every topic and she loves it. Like for me personally, this is not something, um, it's not, it won't be the first, it won't be something I will pick up to teach because I'm not used to it that way, but because she loves it, I will make the, I will make, the adjustment so this is just the inside of right start we'll be using that with card games now because i do have a preschooler and a sixth grader i don't think i'll be doing math games every day with her most likely i would kind of hand off the math game gaming with her brother so she'll play the games with her brother he'll like the games they like to be competitive they'll they'll work that out so that's for math. Math, let's just review math quickly. Supplement, main course, gaming to reinforce the math, the math um, concepts. And I'm going to try to add maybe one or two lessons a week with Right Start because this is what she loves. Okay, that's the end for math. This is the teacher manual. This is the course, like I told you, it comes, it, it focuses on a few subjects. I printed this out because I'm old school and I need to see and touch for me to learn. 
right? So, so it could get embedded into my brain. So Oak Meadow is broken up into two semesters, first and second semesters, and I print this off their website and then I cut it and I paste it. Um, these are the writing skills that they're gonna be focusing on for the whole year. These are my notes, um, resources that I have at home that I'm going to weave into Oak Metal because it does, it will flow in nicely with Oak Metal. Um, and we've used it before and I know they'll, they'll, she'll enjoy it. Um, so let's, let's, I did math with you. Let's go to language arts. With language arts, they give us literature books and I'm just going to quickly go through the books. The Turtle and Oman, of Oman, The Search for Delicious, Stuart Little, The Vanderbeekers, Native Legends. I'm going to pull that to the side because I have some supplements to it. My Side of the Mountain, The Trumpet and the Swan, um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Rachel's Journal, and a poetry book. We haven't really focused on poetry. Um, it's my fault. I'm, I'm not a, a, it's just not something that I enjoy, but we're gonna, we're gonna introduce it to the kids because they're beautiful, but it's just not my thing. Okay, for Native Legends. It's a, for social studies, they're gonna they're gonna focus on Native Americans, and they give us these short stories. However, I feel like I could I could add to them. So last year we started Ancestors Approved. We use it as a read aloud. I will continue with some of the tribal stories. They're really short. You know, we use it as a. It, it was nice. We did it. The stories are, we used it as an audible actually while we were like driving up and down visiting families and stuff like that. And also these two stories, Native American animal stories, these two books I mean, and Native American just stories. I got this off a thrift shop, thrift book shop. They're about $5 each. Now I'm also thinking maybe, but this is reaching maybe at this book as well. I'm not sure. I'll probably streamline everything we're gonna use for the year. I mean, those are a lot of books. Even though, let me just show you. Oh. Oak Metal gives you about five books, I mean, nine books a year. You might think, oh, nine books only, that's, that's, a, that's a little bit of literature. It might be for some, but I'm thinking I might expand, I might expand some of the books. So, for instance, the Turtle of Oman. So, I just wrote down, this is for Oak Metal 4. Which, which weeks will be reading this book? 33 to 36 weeks. Because there's only one book a month, they kind of stretch out the reading. So, this, they shall have like three weeks to read this book. And I put a note for myself here. I do own the Brave Rider Darts for this particular book. And I did go through all the books from Oak Meadow to see if I own the dart or the arrow. And I do own most of them. Well, not most of them. I own about half of them. So, I put this note here for myself. In case I want to expand it, I remember that I do have the option too. And this number two here just lets me know that I have two copies of the same book. So, we will... well. Maybe we can read it as a buddy system. And she holds one book, I hold my own book. And also, because I want her to grow, for a, a, grow a love for reading, for all these Oak Metal titles, I will be reading alongside with her. We're gonna use the buddy system. So she reads, these are the books. She'll read a page, I'll read a page, a paragraph, whatever. We're gonna be doing it together. That's the plan for the literature portion of Oak Metal. Now we're going to jump into grammar. I'm oh, sorry for the squeaking of my table. Okay, grammar. Grammar, let's say writing, editing, grammar, mechanics, and writing. 
we use um last year we use it we haven't really we haven't finished it completely but we use mct grammar island um we're going to continue with paragraph time because in my readings for oak meadow literature based using there's a lot of writing well they start this is my first anyway whatever they do writing then she is going to, I'm going to read this with her. I don't know how exactly when I'm going to anchor this, but we're going to read this together so she can have like a more conversation, like a how to, how to create a paragraph, what makes a paragraph, a good paragraph, sentence structure, um, the layouts. It gives an example. Um, I should have marked the page, but it kind of tells you, oh, through conversation, they'll tell you what to look for in each paragraph and within the paragraph. So that'll be a nice conversation. It's just discussions. We'll talk about it. However, the way that I am, I need bullet points, lists, and charts. So I got this again off of thriftbooks.com. It's about $5. It's a textbook. And we can use this. Um, this is geared to fourth and fifth graders. We can use this as a resource. And here is the just a quick quick game I look there's a table of content contents and these are the topics right so I like the pictures I like how things are listed I like the examples I like the graphs okay so when I explain to, when we're doing our writing project I don't really necessarily need to pull this out but since I have an idea of how to set up her writing, I will use this as a reference. I bought two books actually. I have this one and Write Source, another thrift books purchase. And it was about $5. This is geared for fifth grade. Um, it's the same, it's, you know, writing is writing, it doesn't change, but it gives you a, a bit more detail. So I'm not sure, and it's the same, it gives you examples, you know, inside how to organize your ideas what is the writing process layout format again this is used as a resource for myself and what I think I'm going to do which I started building is a writing binder so I might create some worksheets some templates and then she could re reference those templates based on what's written here so I, I thought that was a good purchase. Oh, and comparing the two textbooks, let's see. This one's a little thicker than top. So that's gonna be for the writing portion. Also, Oak Metal wants you to start with a journal. So I have to buy her a writing, a, a notebook specifically for journal writing. So that is what we're gonna do for grammar and mechanics. And if you know, Brave Writer also focuses on I mean that's their thing grammar and mechanics through through literature so that's another that's another resource we're going to use for grammar and mechanics um now for science hmm again where's my sheet of paper these are the topics for science I don't know exactly how I'm going to do science we do own bookshark level d she enjoyed it we haven't finished it my older son is almost done with it he took it upon himself he it's his independent work he 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 does he does lovely with that i don't need to hold his hand with that we paused bookshark science with her because you know i was trying to focus on other things with her i am going to somehow incorporate our bookshark Lesson week and books for science, depending on the subjects here. Also, there are some really cool topics here that I'm thinking I'm going to do like mini unit lessons. And with those mini unit, unit, unit lessons, Jesus Christ, I am going to include my sixth grader and my preschooler. I don't know exactly how, with which resources, but that's my plan. The same with social studies. Um... So there's a lot of projects here. There's a lot of hands-on projects. 
and there's and incorporates art and math and it's a drawing it's really it's really nice but because there's multi steps and some of these projects can be can can be um impressive social studies and science are going to be two subjects that i'm going to combine it's going to become a family subject only because it's i don't have all the time in the world and um also as an extra elective what i'm planning to besides the art is coding um there's a free website online it's they have free classes for for coding for her i have bought this book many years look it still cracks i bought this book many years ago i haven't really used it but this is the year that we're gonna we're gonna focus on coding and i'm also gonna do there's gonna be coding typing and our arts i've got to figure out how to how i'm going to place them and how i'm going to plan our schedule between three kids and life um so right now that's that's the big picture let's give you a quick overview course book with our top with our subjects science and history science and social studies is going to be unit studies based on the topics and i'm going to incorporate bookshark some media like wildcrats and some online some online you know videos for grammar and mechanics these are some two textbooks that i have depending on how she um i guess it is they're interchangeable they're the same they're the same it's the same thing but a little some with a little bit more details we're also going to be reading through paragraph town um for literature these are our books here these are some of our supplements and I'm going to be pulling one or two brave writers. One or two. I don't. I can't do a, a book a month. Um, and again, for our math, we're going to be doing write start math games. Write start maybe twice a week because this is what she clicks with. She she loves this, but this is what I need her to to learn the different. These are the kind of strategies I want her to also learn and math oak metal math will be more like a supplement like a testing and just to give you an idea there's 36 weeks 36 lessons one lesson a, a week so one lesson it's one lesson it takes you five days a week for math um so i think it will be a nice way to break up our our regular math and do these questions maybe use them as a see, look Lesson one. Well, this is like a skill review. See? And this is fourth grade. So this should she should have mastered that. I might use it as a time thing. Who knows? Three three digit addition and subtraction. Telling time. And that's all for now. Um, I have a sixth grader who's also be who will also be using oak metal, and I'll go over that on a later um video and i do have a preschooler and i might go over some of the things i'll be using with with my preschooler so thank you for sticking around if you have any questions if you have any ideas if you use any of these resources below please feel free to share with myself and with others and we'll sure we will want to learn from you as well um thanks and have a good night bye